I'm going to talk to you about the repurchase rate by cohort metric. It's a very popular metric. Lots of people have questions about it, um, mainly because it's the go-to for understanding retention and then inversely churn. And so what this metric tells you is the amount of customers who came back and repurchased. Um, it could be for one extra subsequent purchase, two subsequent purchases, three subsequent purchases, or 10 plus, like to just get an idea in all those different groups, how many customers have come back and purchased again from the brand. So like all of our cohort metrics, people are added to cohorts when they first make a purchase uh, with your brand. So in this case for the fruit stand, we acquired 2,417 customers in April. And then the way you read it is that within this first month, 7.99% of the 2,417 customers. And we can look to see the amount here. So 193 of the 2,417 customers came back and purchased again in April. And then, and then an additional amount of customers came back between the first and second month and purchased again to bring this number up to 480. And if I was to do the math, it would be like around 287. I didn't do that in my head. I have my calculator here. 287 customers came back between the first and second month to purchase again. And then going forward, you see the number keep jumping up and up. Um, and it's cumulative. So what you can say is, and the summary sentence are that by the second month, we've 19.86% of the customers that we acquired in April came back and purchased again. And then by within the third month, 23% of those customers have come back because it's including the amount of customers that came already came back in the first and second month, came back and purchased again. Um, and so this is really helpful to get summary, to get just a read on how many of the customers are acquiring, coming back and buying again. And sometimes you might want summary reads. So you can look at all data and you can look, let's say at six months and you can say, okay, in the history of our brand, within six months, 24 and a half percent of the customers that we acquire come back and buy at least once more. But if we want to say, oh, what does it look like for people who are like super, uh, super loyal users and have four subsequent purchases in addition to their first purchase. So five purchases in general, at least. And we could say, okay, within six months, 4.47% of the customers that we've acquired have come back and bought four or more times. Um, or within 12 months, it would be 7.76% of the customers that we've acquired have purchased um, five or more times, four subsequent purchases with in addition to their one original purchase. And that's the way to look at this metric. If you wanted to see the amount of customers in each month that come back every single month, you would look at the customer's returning rate. Repurchase rate is cumulative to get an understanding of the retention of the behavior of your customers. And you also can segment this. So you can segment this by different customer groups to look at, okay, what does the repurchase rate look like for loyal people in the loyalty program or people we tag a specific way? or people who are subscribers um, or not subscribers or use the discount or not, or came from a location. And then just all these different dimensions. If you can think of a dimension, we have it available. Or you can look at just like the basic stuff like products. So we could look at people who bought the, had the berry bundle sample. These are the number of people who had the berry bundle sample within their first order. And this is what their repurchase rate looks like. And you can save this and add it to a dashboard and compare a bunch of different products to one another. And you can use our single cohort feature to zero in on a particular month and compare a bunch of different products together. And that's the way to look at it. So we've seen brands who, yes, they might use a sample like we have. And okay, if we offer this sample and they were able to meet the threshold for the sample, what does their repurchase rate look like? Are they a better customer? Should we continue to offer this? Um, or people who bought a specific SKU or a specific bundle or who came in on a specific campaign, how often are they coming back and buying? Um, because obviously the customers that come back and buy are ultimately going to impact the lifetime value since the lifetime value of your customers is dependent on how much people spend and how often they come back and purchase. So this is the great metric to look at it. And thanks, reach out to us with any questions.